What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lava Trooper. So, I did quite a bit of work in between episodes. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday I recorded about half of what I thought was going to be this episode, and then I found out that my microphone wasn't set up properly, it was a little bit too close to my face, and it sounded like I was going through a wind tunnel or something crazy like that, so... I didn't really like the way it sounded. I didn't want to put that stuff out for you guys to see so or listen to. So I went ahead and deleted everything that I recorded yesterday. Um, so I did, I set up an enchantment table, went out and mined some obsidian um, after we got our, our diamond stuff that I found in the last episode from a little mining excursion there. So we went up and set a full level enchanting station here. So we can get level 30 enchantments now, so we can get a little bit better tools, some better armor, some stuff like that to um, to help us out. And uh, a couple other things I did while you guys were away, or in between recordings, um, that kind of stuff. Um, I did do some more mining, so I got a little bit more, uh, found some more diamonds, gathered up a little bit of city obsidian. Some more iron, gold, redstone, that kind of stuff. I did finally get one ender pearl from an enderman. I've been really just prying at those guys, trying to get them to give me their pearls so we can find the stronghold and get that stuff done at some point here in the next few episodes, hopefully. Uh, let's see, what else? I gathered up a little bit more food and some other supplies, a little bit of wood. I did some organizing of our chests here to make it easier to find stuff so I can get things real quickly when we need to work on projects and I also did end up dying another time um, which was kind of a bummer uh, I had a, a creeper actually right over in that area there snuck up behind me while I was uh, running across the desert there and snuck up behind me and got all excited and blew up all over the place so I have died again um, kinda unfortunate but you know that's how things go so yeah unfortunately I did lose lose quite a bit of footage from my me being an idiot the other day and not uh, checking my checking my microphones properly so usually I try to to get that stuff um, tested and figured out before before I start recording so we're gonna go ahead today and um, what are we gonna do we're gonna go ahead and build another portal and I want to go and do some exploring in the nether so uh, I don't know I guess where I'm gonna put this portal yet let's just go back behind here somewhere this is pretty much where I stole a bunch of my lava uh, from for my floor and that kind of stuff so I don't know maybe if I want to put my portal over there I don't know let's for now I'm just gonna go and put my portal right here but I don't want to put it on top of the ground um, yeah so a little bit of change of plans for what I was originally gonna do but you know plans change and things happen so we're just gonna we're gonna keep on moving forward with what we're doing here so gonna build up a another portal here real quick and see if uh, see what kind of stuff we can find in the nether hopefully um, the, there's like a fortress or something nearby which would be really cool um, but we'll I think I got yeah it should be pretty much everything I need for now I don't really have a whole lot of other stuff to go with so I was gonna try to enchant up <clears throat> excuse me some some tools and armor and stuff before I went in but I didn't quite get enough uh, levels gathered up yet from the mining that I have done so maybe we can mine some quartz or something like that in here and get us some more levels so okay perfect <laughs> and I hear a gas right away so kind of a interesting little cave that we spawn into down here probably want to make sure I should have brought some more blocks along with me but I did not of course uh, so let's just go on a little exploration here oh hey <laughs> there's a fortress right around the corner there Perfect. Okay, now we just have to figure out how to get to it.
What a smooth landing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm definitely, I'm still, still in the learning curve of this whole YouTube thing. So, um, kind of have to bear with me as I try to figure things out here yet. But do appreciate any support that anyone uh, can give. So, dig around in here. All right. Well, anyway, it's probably getting pretty boring of me blabbing on right now about things that people probably don't really care about. So I'm going to go ahead, grab these diamonds, all this armor and gear, and um, check out this fortress here. So some good loot chests in here so far. Let's try not to fall out of the out of this thing up a little pork it does look like I'm pretty much out of food which once again was very poor planning on my part get some good diamonds out of this so I'm liking that that's awesome haven't found too many diamonds yet caving so maybe I can get some uh, some some more diamond tools and maybe even some diamond armor armor coming up here pretty soon hopefully I'm definitely gonna have to do a bunch more uh, strip mining and stuff like that off camera because I want to gather a bunch more resources so that you guys don't have to um, watch me dig around for stuff <laughs> I guess and so that I can get more progress done um, with stuff like that so so far I'm not finding any blaze spawners or anything like that but I'm gonna take a look around this fortress here and I'll catch up with you guys after I've taken a good look around Alright, so I found a, a blaze spawner here. Ow! God, jerk, get off me. And I'm completely out of food, so there's a good chance that I'm probably about to get wrecked by these blaze, but we're gonna go for it here. Ow, 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 ow. I'm gonna die. Get somewhere safe. Uh. Oh, <laughs> oh man. So, yeah. This is totally the spot where I was, and all my stuff apparently already despawned by the time I got back here. So unfortunately, I just lost everything I had before, that I just found all the diamonds and all that cool stuff, but fortunately I found a wither skull Well, I was on my way back here, and I just got a couple of, uh, of blaze rods, so I think for now I'm just going to take the stuff I've got and get out of here get back home get safe and uh, better equip ourselves to come back in here in the future and fight off these blaze so I'm gonna run back to the base quick put this stuff away and get geared up to come in here a little bit more prepared for a fight be hopefully I don't die again by all the guys that are in here so I'll be right back guys. Woo! Nice. No gas deer, of course. My luck today is not very good. <laughs> and I'm lost again and can't find my way out of here. So, so far this whole nether exploring thing is not off to a very good start. And I usually consider myself to be pretty decent at this game. <laughs> Today I am not really showing that very much at all. So, <laughs> all right, trying to get out of here still. Oh. <laughs> so I made it back finally. It took me forever to figure out how to get back out of that fortress, how to get back out of the portal or in through the portal, whatever, and get back here finally so after all the struggle made it back got four blaze rods did find another diamond found a wither skull which is awesome a little bit more obsidian and died and got lost and wrecked a bunch so <laughs> that was uh, probably one of the most uneventful nether journeys that I've ever been on so far 
So that was not really my greatest performance there, but it was definitely an adventure nonetheless. So now that we've got that all figured out, go ahead and let's throw put one of these on here. Try to keep our stuff organized as we go through. All right, guys. So let's see what else is in the plans for today. So I went to the Nether, got that part done. Was a little bit of a mess. So I kind of I, I'll apologize here in the middle of this episode. It's been kind of a rambly kind of mess of an episode so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get. A little bit more organized here and I want to set up a little farm uh, to help us with some food so we're kind of low on food and there's not really a whole lot of animals out in the desert here so it's been kind of a, a struggle I have to kind of go go wandering out and uh, collect animals or well collect food from animals so <laughs> gotta I do a lot of uh, a walking to get food so I want to go ahead and build up a a little farm of some kind to get us some food here so I'm gonna go ahead and plan something out for that and I will be back with you guys once I have uh, an organized thought pattern uh, <laughs> set in stone alright guys so I think this is gonna be the spot where I'm gonna build my uh, little farm here where we're gonna get some food so we won't have to go out and um, hunt around for food quite as often so I should have pretty much everything uh, in this chest here to to build what I'm looking to do so uh, what I want to do is build a chicken farm uh, an automated chicken farm so I'm gonna go ahead and grab all this stuff here hopefully I plan to have pretty much everything I'll need um, so I do need a couple of slabs I'm gonna try to craft up the items that I'm gonna use here so we're not gonna use furnaces I'm gonna need a couple of dispensers so let's get those should be enough of that uh, let's see we're gonna need some repeaters where are my torches whoops let's do we might need a few more of those so let's throw let's see a couple more torches don't want to use all the stone and then I we collected a little bit of nether quartz so we can make a few comparators as well. Let's do a couple more of those and then turn this last piece of stone here into repeaters. Should be enough of that. Uh, let's see, we're going to need a couple more chests so we can make a few hoppers here. Yeah, you're not going to come attack me, spider, because it's daytime. All right, a few hoppers here. Got some chests, some redstone. Let's see, uh, what else do we need? Oh, I did forget one thing. Let's see. Can I craft a piston with the supplies that I have? I believe. I haven't crafted a, crafted a piston in quite some time. Perfect. Um, the only problem with that is I might need to make a sticky piston, so I might need to get a slime for that. Um, but we'll have to try it out here and see if that part will work. Because I'm going to try to do this a little bit, a uh, little more unique than I have done in the past. I've built, built these uh, things like this quite a few times, but I'm going to try to make uh, a little adjustment to this one. So gonna start out with a chest here to collect the items which I want to to face outward throw down a hopper there we're gonna put a slab on top of that uh, let's throw down a block here whoops put a dispenser whoop that is not the direction I want that dispenser facing towards the block so the eggs will shoot out into this block to spawn the chickens See, I'm going to want a block up here for the lava to be dispensed out of. So really, the, the big difference in the way I'm going to do this one be, be, uh, between what I've done in the past is I want to make the, the killing chamber a little bit different. So some of you may have seen uh, farms similar to this for chicken farms in the past. I know 
quite a few people have built them like this. I don't know exactly who originally designed them uh, this way, but I'm going to try to put a little spin on the the killing mechanism of this one. So, and we're going to use this smooth stone or smooth uh, what is it? Smooth sandstone for the decorative part around the outside here. So we're going to do that. That'll give us the little clock here where if you put stuff in, it's going to shoot it out into there. So that'll be good for that. Um, I did bring some glass panes. I might want to trade these out for glass blocks, but yeah, I'm going to want to trade those for glass blocks. So once again, not <laughs> entirely prepared for this, but okay, so we got this uh, mechanism here finished up. This can be all covered up like that, so we'll have a little uh, face area to this part here. I brought a couple of these chiseled sandstone you can put here to make this look a little bit fancier, which will be awesome. Let's grab some more of this. We'll put maybe a stair up here so we'll be able to see what's going on in there. And then what else do I need? So for this part here, I want to put the lava bucket in there and I want to be able to have it so that the lava uh, pulses out and starts the chickens on fire to, to kill them in order to get their drops as cooked chicken. Um, but I want it to pulse so that the the chickens, uh, when they burn, the, the drops don't burn in the lava because I've had these in the in the past before where the drops just get burnt up right as the chickens die and I don't want that to happen I want this to be a little bit more efficient than that so what I want to do is bring a signal up into this here with a pulse in it so that um, basically the chickens will burn and then they what am I trying to say here? <laughs> um, they, the chickens will burn and then they... Oh crap, I can't even think of what I'm trying to say here. The chickens will burn and then the lava will go out <laughs> and then their drops will stay there and fall into the chest. So that's what we're trying to go for. So let me get this built up here because I'm not very good at doing redstone stuff on camera apparently. So I'm going to get that built up and then I'll explain from there what we're going with. All right, guys, so it took me a little while to figure this out, how I wanted to set everything up, but I think I've got it working uh, the way I want it to. So basically what will happen is the chickens will uh, lay eggs into here. Uh, so if I can get up here real quick to show you, there'll be a bunch of chickens in here. I've got to go collect some eggs yet and get some chickens in here, but all the chickens will be up here. They'll lay eggs into these hoppers. And then we'll say they laid some eggs in there, even though that's redstone. That'll end up into the dispenser. And like you just saw there, we'll, whoop, maybe we'll get shot into this block. And the chickens will hatch and end up uh, sitting on top of this slab. And then once there are grown up chickens in here, what we'll do is I'll go ahead and press this button. And you see how the lava flashed on and then flashed off again. So I'll show you that one more time super quick just like I want it'll just be enough to set the chickens on fire and then it'll it'll go back out so they won't burn all the extra drops so if you're wondering how I set this up some of you might be interested in the redstone um, when I hit this button this line powers back here push this piston up and before the piston goes up the signal goes through uh, the this block and powers this repeater and this repeater over here so we've got this one on a little bit of a delay so this one will fire first and run up this line here and trigger the dispenser and then the second line here will uh, fire after that delay will go up and run into the same spot here firing the dispenser again so that way we'll push that lava out and then suck it back up in there so 
Actually, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to make a, a flying change here real quick, and I'm going to run another layer of smooth stone up here, and whoops, and grab some more redstone, and raise that up a little bit, so it'll be easier to decorate the side of this. It should still work just fine, perfect. So that's pretty much how that works. Uh, this is just the a little clock here that runs whenever there's items in here. So if I put, say, some slabs in here, this clock here will shoot those items out in the front of there. So that's a, ooh, <laughs> bit my tongue there. <laughs> wow, bummer. So that's how everything's set up there if you were interested in how that thing works. And I'm going to decorate the rest of this up and and get some eggs to throw in there. So um, unfortunately, that's going to have to be pretty much uh, all for the episode today, pretty much out of time now that I had to basically record this episode twice. So that's going to have to do it for me today, guys. But I will see you in the next episode as I run away from this husk. Ah! See you later, guys.